what's up what's up it is a gorgeous day look at the sky out there look at that sky gorgeous morning why are you always walking right behind me look at she likes to walk right back there some for some reason all right anyway it's a gorgeous morning out here it's time to go have breakfast and then we're gonna go to the islands it's gonna be amazing cookie <laughs> anyway let's go get some food real quick and then it's time to go hang with us oh yeah this pool looks pretty good with direct light on it <laughs> it looks kind of weird and in the dark like it looks really gray and dark and kind of forbidding but with a lot of light on it, it looks pretty good anyway full tummy you got enough to eat what's all right later? what's up just gonna eat later Oh, 7-Eleven later. Okay, we got to go to 7. Get some stuff. But anyway, we're out of here. Time for the party. Yeah? Woo! Yeah. Boat ride. Island hopping. Snorkeling. You going to snorkel? Probably not. But she will get a suntan though, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, we're out of here, guys. All right, we did our 7 run. Got our little bag of goodies. Hot tips for these boat rides have been on a few now. Always bring a hat, sunblock, mosquito spray. Uh, oh, very good hot tip here. The rocks are usually sharp or slippery, all right? Or there's a lot of coral. So yeah, you're gonna want some of those little uh, sea shoes or whatever they are. You know what I'm talking about? You know, little shoes you put on for the water, water shoes, whatever. Get you some of those, always a big tip. Always a good thing to have. Usually the boats like have their own snorkeling gear. But snorkeling gear is so cheap, you can go to Decathlon and get a set of snorkeling gear for like 300, 400 bots. So I just recommend getting your own. But yeah, that's my hot tip for boating trips uh, and snacks. You never know. A lot of times they feed you, they like do a lunch on a long trip, but it may not be the food you want, or maybe you're just hungry for something else while you're out there. Bring some snacks. All right, cool. Let's do this. All right, guys, we're loaded up. Is everybody ready? We excited? Boat trip? Yeah. Woo! Let's go. I bet you I wish you were here. I wish you were here too, but we're gonna have an awesome day. Come hang out with us. It's gonna be great. We're gonna snorkel, get wet. I don't know, go diving and and Gip's gonna do a dance on the beach. Cool, let's do this. And everything he just said. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always stealing my stuff? All right, we have made it here, barely. Somehow, we're right here, right next to Bang Bao Pier. We're like on a private dock here. Gonna load up on our boat. Good morning, how you kids doing? Good morning, good morning. Okay, looks like we ended up with a speedboat anyway. I thought we were getting a bigger boat, but yeah, it's all right, change plans. Cool little area though. Must be nice to live on the water. All right guys, we are on the boat. We're ready to get this adventure started. Yay, let's do this. It's a pretty good sized boat. It seems like it went down a lot since we got on it, but I think we'll be okay. It looks sort of seaworthy. No water's coming in. We did have a boat that had water coming in, so this is better. Let's do this. And James Cameron on me. Oh, I good. Hey, everybody, ready for a good trip? Yep. Yep. I got one yep. One whole yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah, ready to go. yeah, you. Not bumpy at all. Three to four swells, no problem. We got this. Okay, maybe five to seven. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yeah, you guys won't be able to tell on video, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a ride out here. Got some good swells. Testing, yeah. testing, one, two, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Jay's Casino, Chocolate Man in Thailand, and we're here, here on the coast of Koh Rang. Koh Rang, Koh Rang Island over there. Not that you would know, but it's all good. Anyway, we're gonna go do some snorkeling right here by this big rock. We're gonna call Casino Island since it has no name. It's my island now. Anyway, let's do this. It was a bit of a rough ride getting here. I don't know if everybody's as motivated as we are in the front, but yeah, we're gonna get in the water Welcome and do some snorkeling. Welcome to Joe Island. It's all good. Anyway, oh yeah, I forgot to mention National Park, 200 baht for foreigners 40 for ties no big deal don't sweat it don't get angry don't get mad see ya bye bye there you go yeah they were on us they were here like 30 seconds after we got here like hey we need money
All right, what y'all think? Love it. <laughs> Love it. Beautiful out here. This dude got like a floating chair. <laughs> yeah, looks like it. All right, not sure if my mics are cleared out, but we're having a great time out here at uh, Cold Casino. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful day. Perfect snorkeling conditions. We're having an awesome time. Wish you guys were here. All right, first island was a dope success. We had a good time. Hopefully you guys saw my awesome underwater GoPro footage in my drone flight. <laughs> I'm just messing with Chuck. He's having some GoPro issues. What you think, Fa? <laughs> no, I don't have to stay. Uh, Fa was not a big fan of the boat ride, but she's enjoying herself now. Looking cute. Stand up, show everybody your butt. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Right, just had our second little island here. Pretty cool spot. We weren't allowed to get near the rocks because of sea urchins, which I didn't understand because there was a lot more sea urchins at the lot the other spot, but whatever. <laughs> it was still cool out here. Beautiful though. We're having too much fun out here. All right, on to the next island, I think. All right, y'all. Bearing boats. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Good snorkeling though. It was a great trip. Definitely worth the money. All right, this is Koh Kham, and this is like, huh, Kham? How you say? Koh Kham. Koh Kham, yeah. This is, like, I guess somebody bought this. It's like a private yeah, island, but private we're still allowed to go here as long as we pay. 200 baht a person. Yeah. How much? Song Lai baht. Okay. That's 200 baht. No, I didn't, I didn't really know. <laughs> but this looks super nice. I like, this is, like, really beautiful. Can't wait to check it out. Hopefully we're getting lunch here because we're starving. Hungry? Yeah, I still want to eat. So I'm not hungry. Okay. You know, I guess I have nobody. <laughs> Paul's ready to get off this damn boat. All right, we have made our beach landing at Kokam. This place is gonna be dope. We'll take you for a walk around here in a minute. Get you a lay of the land. Pretty cool though. All right, let's roll around the beach here and check it out. This guys, this is pretty legit. This is nice. Look at, they got their own little private cove over here. Got some lava rocks out there. That's looking legit. Got a transparent canoe. Doesn't look very stable, but do your own thing. I am loving this bad boy right here for sure. Okay, let's go walk over and check out some of these cabins here. Let's do this. All right, they got a little unfinished construction here. Probably a big hotel plan that didn't work out. Not uncommon in Thailand. It's just what happens. Sometimes they just start building something. They got a big plan and then they don't get enough investors and then they just stop. <laughs> pretty common, pretty common. But let's take a look at what else is over here. Some kind of little complex over here. Pretty cool. They got these little, uh, little tent bubble things. Never quite understood the concept, but hey, whatever works for you. Yeah, they just got all kinds of just random structures over here. I like, I really don't know what the purpose is. If they're unfinished, finished. If they're not using, they are using. I could tell you. But anyway, let's go walk around, take a look at them. Oh yeah, this is definitely an abandoned project. You can see it's, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's it's unfinished. And now the, the weeds and the ivy and all the plants are kind of just taking this stuff over now. But it looked like it was gonna be really cool at one point. It looks like they probably had like private pools, you know, beautiful sunset views and all that. It was gonna be like a whole resort complex, but yeah, it didn't, didn't work out apparently. <laughs> Something destroyed this place, but anyway, they're charging us 200 baht to come here, 200 baht per person to come here and hang out on the island. So whatever, it is a beautiful beach, no worries, no problem. But I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 
yeah. I don't know. It probably would have been a ridiculous price to stay at this resort if it ever worked out. So <laughs> don't know if I would have ever got to enjoy the island. So I'm glad we got this option to uh, come out here and hang out for 200 baht a head. No worries. Kind of cool to check out abandoned places. Got to kind of look around, though. We don't want to end up like uh, Greeny, get stung by about a billion wasps. So we'll just see if we can creep up here without getting stung or attacked by anything. Just kind of take a look and see this unfinished structure up here. Yeah, I got a feeling this was probably going to be the pool area. Didn't work out so well. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Yeah, it, this, this thing looks like it's been abandoned for at least 10 years. So long before COVID. It's not a victim of COVID, just a bad economy probably. Or just a, not, a, not a good enough concept, not enough investors. Who knows? It's still amazing. Cool. Wow, there's still a really, really nice beach over here. Very cool. More of these resort buildings. They just go all the way down. Pretty wild, but yeah, really beautiful beach out here. All white sand. Got this big long pier here. Yep, they had big plans. They had big plans. Over there is Komuk. Obviously, that one's much more. I don't know how well you guys could see that in the video, but there's all kinds of hotels and structures and cell phone towers and yeah there's definitely big infrastructure on that island a much larger island than this as well all right guys well that's a little tour around Kokom. <laughs> in case you ever come out this way want to check it out it's definitely a cool place to chill out suppose we were getting lunch here but i haven't seen a menu or anything so i don't know if this has got food out here or not but whatever like i said I always bring chips snacks all that stuff with you you never know what the situation's gonna be Look at this cool tree. Cool tree and a big rope swing. Maybe I can get Fa on it later. <laughs> Fa is chilling out right now. She's just glad to have her feet on land for a minute so she can relax. <laughs> a couple people weren't super fans of the boat. It happens. It happens. Not a big deal. Oh, man, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Well, he's got his drone out. That's a good sign for me. That means you guys will get some drone footage coming right about... Okay, it looks like they set us up some kind of little buffet here. What we got here, Mike? Maybe some chicken, maybe some shrimp. 
All right. Maybe a seafood mixture here. Yeah, get a little, little seafood and noodles. All right. Not bad at all. Okay. Fah, did you get some food? Oh, you already get for me? Okay. Look at that. My baby Fa already got me lunch. So sweet. That's my baby. What do you guys think, huh? Is this beach stellar or what? What do you think? I'm loving these big lava rocks. Insane. A lot of drones up right now. I guess drones are okay. There's a drone over there, drone right there. There you go. Get your business. Charles about to do his thing. Not so much. All right, trying to find my way around out here. Crikey, we found a Texas beerist drinkers. <laughs> Look at the ladies. Go girls. Work it. Do the dance. Do the dance. <laughs> All right, here's what y'all really came to see. There's Fop. Hey, sexy Thai girl, what you doing? Good times out here at Kokam. Time to go. Everybody's loading up on the boat. Still absolutely gorgeous out here though. What a beautiful day. Woo! Hope y'all had fun hanging out with us. Time to head back to the island, I believe. Back to Kochang. Go home. Get a nap. Big dinner. Let's see it all happening. All right, Land Ho. We made it. Everybody survived. Had an awesome day. Let's go. Uh, let's go down here and check out the pier. Good times. Ready? <laughs> Feel a lot better now. You on land, right? <laughs> My poor man. Oh, uh, she did good today. Definitely not her thing, but she had fun. Oh, good. You're so brown too. Why are you so brown? <laughs> you got some good color today. Nice. You got free mask for us. Yeah. All right, this is new. They were working on this the last time we were here, but that was months ago. It's all finished now. Nice little cafe. The Vutale Cafe. Cafe Cafe. Very original name, Vutale. <laughs> Seems like every other building in Thailand is called Vutale, but pretty good. I dig it. Very nice. Very cool looking spot. Looks like they just opened up. All right, you know the ladies are going to get coffee. Right now, I got to find a shopping bag. We broke our little bag here. Need a replacement. Not quite everything is open back up in here, but still looking pretty good. Better than it was. It is still kind of the middle of the week. I think, what is it, Thursday, Friday? What day is it? I don't even know. Oh, it is Friday, okay. This is so probably a little bit slow for a Friday, but it's all good. It's all coming back soon enough. All right, we're gold now. We got us a red macro bag, 100 baht. <laughs> that might have been a little overpriced, but whatever. We'll roll with it. Yeah. Chasing down the far chick. Where you go, far? Where you leave me? Fish. Get your fish on. Mm -hmm. You guys hungry? Who wants to eat? Okay, a little better shopping down here. Got some pretty busy looking shops down here. Real big. Oh, and there's fish. I don't know if it's some kind of dried fish or what. 
plastic bags, snacks in a bag, yummy, dried squid, yay. Yeah, just a couple of these little random shops are open. All good, all good. <laughs> There's a very random shop with a bunch of old stuff in it. That looks pretty cool. Good old aerial motorcycle. That looks dope. All right, let's keep it moving. Oh yeah, all kinds of eclectic goods in there. Look at this old scooter. That's pretty dope. Two seater. Sleepy. Sleepy. Just want to sleep. Okay. All right. Yeah, a bunch of shops open down here at this end. What the hell is that? Funky. Hey, there's a hospital. <laughs> How much going on up in there, though? Here it comes. Here it comes. He got this. Uh, he got a little something going on here. Let's see what happens. Boo! <laughs> There it goes. It's on fire. You can really see it on the video. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. This shows a really good hand. Yeah. Flaming my tie, y'all. All right, yeah. Get it. Get it. Thank you. <laughs> you go wake up. <laughs> Bob took some motion sickness pills today and they having a little bit of effect. <laughs> passing out at the table. And can you believe this? She's passing out before she got her food. Crazy. Yeah, I know we are so original. We came back to the exact same restaurant and we sat in the same chairs. Super weird. It's called Good. We just kind of, we're tired, we didn't want to think too much, so we, we picked a spot we were familiar with that was treating us right, came back in here, treating us like family, having a good time. Everybody got their food, except for me, but that's okay, I don't mind going last today, no problem. Claw is falling asleep, <laughs> but she's still cute and hungry. Anyway, we're gonna enjoy this food, go home and pack. Tomorrow we go to Koku, hope you guys hang in for that. All right, that's it. Bye. Bye. See ya. Thank you.